what a final round. They charge to the finish line stripe. And the wind light is on for Bob Tasca. 391.5 on a hole shot. He hits a triple hole shot for the first time in funny car history. 391 beat a 389, beat a 390, and beat a 3904. In one of the best drag races we've seen in recent memory, nine thousandths of a second triple hole shot win for Bob Tasca. Did you take off the speed limit and the ET limit on those guys? I took the rev limiter off Aaron Brooks and Todd Okahara. All weekend long this race car has been wanting to run. We just wanted to find that consistency to go up and down the racetrack. This last run, we knew we had to step up. I knew I had to step up. You're racing against the best in the world over here. That's a big time matchup. Caps, Hagen, Proc, Tasca. We got the trophy, baby. Partying in Vegas tonight. Yes, yes, yes. They're all clean off the watch. They're all clean down the racetrack and across the finish line stripe it is Doug Coletta, 371.5. Beats a 374.5, a 374.5, and a 376.9. When Doug Coletta has himself a good race car, the rest of the competition better watch out. That was the case this weekend, Doug. 371, that was a close final round, three thousandths of a second. How much fun are you having driving this car right now? Yeah, I tell you, Alan Johnson and, uh, you know, Mac and all these Mac tools, Toyota, uh, Revline guys, they uh, really got this thing running. You know, each round we were running, you know, quick time. And uh, yeah, just, uh, it's great to do in Vegas. And uh, obviously the first four wide, uh, it's pretty special. Congratulations, Doug. Thanks a lot. Foster goes red by a mile. And this one is going to go down to the stripe, and Foster looks at, rather, Tucker looks like he's got a shot at it, and at the finish line stripe, it is Coughlin. 661, 607.18 miles an hour for Jag, gets the job done. So Jay Coughlin Jr. brings home the Wally at the four wide nationals. Jag, you were the first to leave the starting line. You had the quickest car in that quad. You've got yourself a horse to ride, and that's going to be dangerous for the pro stock contingent. How good does it feel to hold that Wally for the first time in a couple years? It feels fantastic, let me tell you. It, uh, it's been uh, quite a ride without question. Uh, you know, being in the winter circle, uh, nothing beats that. Uh, the team elites, uh, obviously, uh, brought me back in with open arms with uh, Randy and everyone at Skag and JHG and uh, Jegs and, of course, Outlaw Beer, man. We're going to enjoy a few of those tonight, let me tell you. But uh, this thing was a rocket all weekend. I let the clutch out there in the final. You know, uh, the whole crew chief bank had this thing on kill. And front end was up. I was banging through the gears. And I'm like, God, please hold together because everything felt really good uh, from the time I let the clutch out until I saw that blinking light. And, uh, you know, I love my family. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Amanda's with Jake's teammate, Eric Anders. Woo!